Welcome back to another character showcase. So Terry just came out and well of course we're gonna be doing him. So um I was not expecting him to come out already, but he did. So without further ado, let's get started. First we of course I'm gonna be showing a little table of contents of what we're gonna be doing in each episode, so you can see that on screen. And first we're gonna be doing a little bit of first impressions with Terry. I already um I already played with him a lot, so uh, there's no like introduction thing. So I'll just show you guys kind of if you haven't seen it yet. So just like Ryu and Ken, he always faces his opponent, and he now has two brand new moves that have never been introduced in Smash Bros: the backward special and the uh, spot dodge attack. So they actually do a lot of damage, and I really like Terry as a character. He has such cool moves. And the stage, the King of Fighters Stadium, if you, like Sakurai said, if you uh, do enough damage at a higher enough percent, then you will break through the stage. I can't really do the command inputs because I'm not very good. This is, this is basically the only good uh, fighting game I'm good at. But, I mean, I will set my uh, percent so I can try and do the command inputs. Let me, let me see. Let's see, yeah, Power Geyser. Let me try Buster Wolf. No, that wasn't it. Oh, yeah, I did it. Yeah, he just says, are you okay? Whoa, Power Geyser. So cool. Oh, there we go. That's cool. Alright, now we'll do a battle with him. You know how it goes. Oh yeah, and Kirby's hat, if you don't know, um he gets his hat, his his hair, and his little tiny gloves. Very cute. Um, yeah, we'll go back to the King of Fighters Stadium. But of course we're gonna in an actual Smash Bros match. Uh, we'll do we'll do the battlefield form because the characters from King of Fighters and Fatal Fury still stay there, but it's still really cool. I think my favorite all would probably be the sixth one. I think it's like a blue hat and black jeans. Let me find Bowser. I could do this. So yeah, also 50 songs. That's a that's an amazing amount. I think it's so cool how there's so many. Also, Terry looks crazy strong, and I'm kind of scared, but he'll probably be, like, top five, or maybe top ten. If we can. But someone like me, who's not good with characters like Terry, I mean, I don't know. I think his up special has a lot of potential to kill at early percentages. Oh, and I have Final Smash later on, that's right. I can, I can live. Oh no. Never seen his uh, screen KO yet. It's pretty cool. Oh no. Uh oh. There's the final smash. Such a cool final smash, in my opinion. It actually doesn't seem like it has really good kill potential. Bowser just barely got KO'd. I mean, it is Bowser though, so he has so he can live for a really long time. But I don't know. It was at like a hundred percent too, so I mean I don't know. Ready? And Bowser is dead. Oh yeah. Um now we are going to do a um now we're gonna do the spirits. So they actually have um, spirits that aren't even from Fatal Fury King of Fighters. They have some from other SNK, um, uh, other SNK franchises. And I noticed one of them was from Akari Warriors. And I, if it wasn't for the Angry Video Game Nerd, I would not know what Akari Warriors is, but I do. And it's a bad game. So, <laughs> oh, it's not normal spirit board. It's the DLC one. So, since the Banjo-Kazooie, um, spirit thing, I've gotten a much better, uh, spirit team. 
Um, I don't know if Ganondorf would be the best one, but I'm just gonna use him. And I think it's also because my Ginginator is also new, but it's a very good spirit. So the first one is Andy Bogard, which is Terry's brother. Oh my god, yeah, that's, that, that certainly did a lot of damage, but it's also tra uh, two trade-off abilities, so it's, um, so you'll lose a lot of percent. And from what it looks like, it looks like it's all, um, HP battles. But that's alright, because Ganondorf can get them all done really quick. So this next one is Joe Higa, Higa, Higashi, Joe Higashi, Higashi maybe? Oh my god. Oh my god. And jump power is lowered. Okay, so it's, so it's like trying to be a traditional fighting game. So Joe Hig Higashi is a primary spirit. Grab type. Kim Kapwan. This is Ken and two other characters. It's Ken, Ridley, and DZ. I have no clue why, but it is. So... So is this, uh, yeah, this is a support, I think. Oh my god, it's a tiny Ridley. I can't. Oh my god, Ridley is dead. Oh, that's a big DDD. Yep, alright, he's gone. Alright, let's go, Ken. Oh, this is a percentage match. Ooh, that's cool. I don't like that one. So we're gonna go to Ryo Saka Saka Sakazaki. It's a me brawler. Oh, that's right, because I had made new me fighter outfits. And of course, since I am a complete tool, I'm gonna buy those. Because I have all the other ones and all the downloadable ones. I still don't really think that's like. I, don't, I think they should be free or not 75 cents, but it's whatever, I guess. I also like how they added the um, Akira and Jackie ones, like they did in Smash 4. Oh my god. I ain't dying to this. <gasps> uh oh! BAM! That was cool. Who's next? Kyo Kusanagi. Alright, I think it's Captain Falcon, Donkey Kong, and Pikachu. Yes? Yeah. I can do that. The enemy's explosion and fire pack have increased power. Uh-oh. So Falcon Punch is gonna do a lot if I get hit by it. Oh no. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh my god, Pichu. Oh, oh my god. Not dead yet. Ooh, alright. There we go. So I guess you can tech off the walls too. That's pretty cool. I, I love this stage. It's so cool. Alright, Ayori Yagami. It's like reading the Persona 5 characters' names, I swear. Actually, yeah, that's exactly what it's like. Alright. So it's wolf. It's two wolves, actually. wonder why. I have King of Fighters 94 on my Switch. So that's, that's all my Fatal Fury knowledge. Why are we on Reset Bomb Forest? Oh, no. Wow, he didn't die. Hey, I'm supposed to kill you, not you kill me. There we go. Alright, deal with wolf. Alright, that's a one hit. Alright, so for the last King of Fighters slash Fatal Fury Spirit, it's Geese Howard. He is a four he's the four star spirit of this. Uh thing and it's just a me brawler but I mean still it, it's really powerful though I noticed that that's 
That's a Zelda hat. Also, 200 HP, might I add. Oh, no. Mmm, that didn't do a whole ton. Yes! We spiked him! That was awesome! First try. Cri Wait, what's his, what's his power? That looks, like, really good. Critical fast final smash meter. Will charge quickly for a while while badly damaged. That actually sounds really good. I have to use that sometimes, but it takes up three slots. So for the Samurai Showdown one, we got Hayo... Um, I don't know. I think this one also got a Mii Fighter Spirit, because it's Mii Sword Fighter. So... I've never played Samurai, whatever the game was called. I already forgot. Oh, it's just Takamaru. Guess not. I think one Samurai Showdown character got it. Got a Spirit, or a Mii Fighter outfit. Enemy attack power up. Yep, that is definitely attack power up. Uh oh. Oh yeah. You're breaking so many shields. I like it. This is awesome. Sword attack. Oh, it's a three star. That's actually not bad. I think there's another four star if I recall. No. So this one is also from Samurai Shoredown. Nakoruru. Zelda and Falco. I guess that makes sense. Oh, it's only got 40 HP. Oh my god, Zelda's almost- Oh my god, Zelda's dead. Guess I didn't have to take out Falco. This is a tiny Falco. Just air attack. Not very powerful. Athena Asamiya from Psycho Soldier. I think it's Politana and Richter, right? Yeah, Politana and Richter. This is a very weird character. <laughs> I will not lie about that. Oh, why are we on this stage? This stage sucks. But not for Ganondorf. Richter, no. Oh my god, come on. Oh, alright. That worked. Franklin badge, okay. And the final one. Ralph and Clark from Akari Warriors. Two snakes. Yeah, that makes sense. I guess when you think about it. Alright. I'm surprised there was no Metal Slug Spirit, especially considering there was like five Metal Slug songs they added into the game. But it's alright, I guess. Oh, why are we on Gower Plane? Is it supposed to be like the NES Akari Warriors? Oh my god. I almost fell off. I, I do not like Gower Planes as a uh, stage. They should have added, like, a Xenoblade 2 stage. That would have been way cooler. And also for the fans who wanted, like, Rex and Pyra in the game. Oh my god, G he went flying. Why wow, there's so many bombs. He is gone. And there we go, shooting at his power. Cool. And that's it for the spirits. What do we get? 10,000 gold. Nice. So let's look at the collection now because I have all the spirits. Once again. So now it's 367. Nice. I like all these. They're cool. Also, Tetra spirits. And for the final part of this Terry Showcase is the classic mode. I already cleared classic mode, but. For your viewing pleasure, I'm gonna do it again. I got 9.7, which made me really mad, but it's all right. Hopefully, I can redeem myself. So let's see if, if I can redeem myself. Let's go, Terry. So it's like King of Fighter, or not King of Fighters? Yeah, King of Fighters, where it's a three-on-three -three format. So there's that. So. This first match is Mario, Peach, and Rosalina. Just a friendly reminder, Rosalina does exist. So, 
I forgot she did. She's probably the top, one of the, probably part of the top five characters I see the least. Number one would definitely have to be Corrin, though. Ooh, we're doing good. Ooh, so you can do like uh, down air to up special like Ryu and Ken. But I think I think Terry's is definitely better though. Alright, next up we got Sheik, Link, and Zelda. So the way they did it in King of Fighters was it'd be by country, so um uh there I think there was eight different teams in ninety in King of Fighters ninety four at least, that's the one I have. And so I guess they I guess in this one it's all the same series. It's, I mean, it isn't like the first two matches, but the other ones aren't the same series. Okay, Link's gone. And then there's Zelda. I wouldn't say I'm the greatest with Terry. I mean, I just, I just like his combos. I also just think it's crazy that he's the first character to have a back special. Ooh! That was cool. So our GSP is doing good, so is our score. Now we're at to 6.3. Next up we have Bowser, DDD, and K Rule. And they're big. I wonder why they're big. Get him with the. No. Ooh. Oh no, he's not hitting the forward special or er, F smash. Ooh, Harry's, dude, I swear, Harry's gonna be top five in this game, maybe top and eh, top ten, not top five. Seven point one. Next up, we got Pit, Dark Pit, and Palutena. I think this is a really weird one, I, I don't know. Ooh. Let's grab the fire bar item. Oh, jeez. I don't know why. Ooh. That does nothing. Take that. So I guess I just realized Ryu, Ken, and Terry wouldn't be very good with having the back shield item because they always have to face their opponent. Too bad no one really uses items. Except for like casuals. Ooh. Well, he's put his, he put his hat, he puts his hat backwards when he does that. It's cool. It's a small little detail like that. Alright, now we got Sonic, Mega Man, and Pac-Man. The original third parties of Smash 4, before we got Cloud and Bayonetta and Ryu. And then Snake was just gone. Snake said no. Nice. We're going to the top, Mega Man. Let's go.
Oh, I walked right into that. Ooh. I really like Terry's taunts, too. Also, I wonder who the, um... Last fighter will be in the fighter's pass. I'm very interested to see that. I, my, my most wanted character for this game is uh, Scorpion, but I know that's not gonna happen. Oh no, we're about to die. Ah, oh. That's alright, we still have some classic tickets. Also, I think it's really cool how his hat flies off when you die. It's really funny. Nice. He's just holding on to him. He won't let him go. And the last stage is Ridley, Ganondorf, and Bayonetta. I wonder why Bayonetta is always like with the bad guys. I know, I, I've never played Bayonetta, but in, I'm pretty sure she's like an anti-hero. Also, I'd like to point out that a lot of Terry's moves resemble um, Lloyd from SF2. Even McLeod Gaming uh, made a tweet about that, so I mean, that's what I noticed when I saw them for the first time. Even when they uh, teased Terry in uh, the Banjo showcase. Oh god. We're not dying again. Oh no, we're gonna choke it. We got another smash ticket, it's alright. Alright, now Bayonetta. There we go. Took her down. Um, just like in the Banjo Showcase, we're not gonna do the bonus game, because who cares? I don't like it. I mean, I really think they should maybe change it up or something, but... I guess not. <laughs> no one cares about that. And the boss battle is actually a very cool one. It's Ryu, Ken, and another Terry. The fighting game characters in the party game. Right? I swear this guy, I swear guys, this is a party game. There we go. Alright, next up we got Ken. Nah. Alright, and Terry. Are you okay, Terry? No! Ah, oh, that's, that's annoying. That's annoying. Alright. Eat, okay. That's annoying. I, I could've, I could've done that. I was trying to hit him with the, are you okay? I guess he's not okay. Yeah, 8.6, so way worse than my uh, first run, but that's alright, I guess. Uh, I forgot to show up the uh, actual Terry spirit for the uh, the fighter one. It's pretty cool, though. You probably saw it when we were looking at the collection. And then we go through uh, the credits. We can show off the little thing. Let's see what random spirits we get. 
And they are Tom Nook. Cool. That's it. That's gonna do it for this character showcase though. I hope y'all enjoyed. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for the next character who will come out, which we still don't know. But until then, I'll see you guys in the next character showcase.